Hi, Nancy. Okay, so I just wanted you to get a feel for this because it's a pretty major intersection. So this is where you're coming in. The elevator is right down here. It's just one, there's one unit here and then that's the elevator. There's storage and laundry there. Coming in through the front door. This is a pretty heavy door. So I'm gonna shut it and see how much. They do have some music playing, but you really don't hear too much road noise. And this is a heavy door as well. I put down on the noise. All right, coming in. Takes you down to the living room. Some storage closets along here. So this is the kind of extra freezer they have in there right now. Just kind of assume that things are not staying as we're showing you. So, you know, these are a little dirty. Um, here's your AC system and the water heater. So this door doesn't really want to open up the whole way to see the water heater. We can get the ages on that, but we know that this is a 2005. So that's on the slightly older side and I don't see a year on this. Um, you do see a little bit of rust spots there. If there's really any at the bottom, it's better to just get it replaced. Since you are in a condo. All right, coming back through the kitchen. some pans. It's nice that the ceilings are a little taller in here. Give you more cabinet space. So they made good use out of the available kitchen space here. Those are soft clothes. Put your fridge. Pantry. And then this kind of bar and coffee set up, which is super cute. The way that they split that. And giving you some extra cabinets. This is just another little bonus closet, or this could be pantry. So going back in there. Then you've got this closet, which is where they've got bunch of stuff. So this is pretty deep. Just a nice size storage closet here. Right. So it really has a pretty nice like spacious feel. This is big furniture certainly not small anyway. Um, it does not feel super crowded, especially with it being dark. Back here, you see there's you know, quite a bit of space to do both the desk and the dining table. Coming through the This is your view from living room and the master. So you could easily have a big dresser, king size bed, nightstands, and all of that in here. There really is plenty of room. So they've reworked this just a little bit. So you've got walk-in closet that also goes into the bathroom here. So that door can be closed off, you know, like while you're showering, so moisture's not getting in here. And master bath. Again, with the cut through right into the closet. Makes the closet definitely feel less cavernous. So, you know that some of this needs 
some cleaning, deep cleaning. Got a toilet. I just have like a little bidet thing over that. So, you know, I think there's just some areas where cleaning, you know, would do a lot. That one doesn't open, this one does. Big mirror in there. The lights are on a dimmer. They've got some dimmer switches around, that's nice. Now you will find, you know, the electrical has to run here because you can't go into the ceiling. So we just tend to see that you know, running of the electrical line. All right, coming in here. So this is kind of the guest suite. And then here is the makeshift laundry room. So they've got, they've taken this walk-in closet for the guest bedroom. They've run some sort of plumbing here uh, to allow for the little sink and that portable washing machine. And here's the guest bath. So original cast iron tub, I think. And this is in pretty good shape. This does look newer. I don't know if the tile work was redone, but it looks like the grout could use a little work. Kind of an older toilet there, and then the newer vanity um, mirror. Oh yeah, and then there's this. So they just took the kind of what would have been a door off there in their own little shelving. And then that brings us into the guest bedroom. So this is a queen size bed with the desk and then closet here so it's a small closet but you know you don't necessarily need something a lot bigger you've got the bonus space here there's your upgraded panel the built-in shelving there and then you know this again is that view out to kind of commercial stuff zoom in so you've got a wawa there's a grocery store over there a little ways i guess you can't see me pointing over there back that way um let's see yes across the street and all that but i'm not hearing any noise these windows are doing a great job of cutting down the noise all right so decent size yes bedroom now, one thing I'm noticing is with the flooring, you know, there's some spots where it's separated a little bit and that's not really a big deal, um, but something to, to note for you where in a few places you'll just kind of see the planks. Now there also are a couple like softer spots. This is the type of flooring that doesn't really with, you know, if there's anything, any little movement in the floor or anything like that, um, you're gonna feel it because this is just, it's a thinner material. But, you know, these units do feel pretty spacious and this is a very pleasant view. Now this will be sunset and out this way. So it'll probably be very, very pretty, pleasant in the evenings. And a little more look back towards everything else. All right, I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this.